Cook's comments come as Facebook and its chief executive, Mark Zuckerberg, face criticism, lawsuits and political inquiries over how Cambridge Analytica, a data analysis firm that worked with President Donald Trump's election campaign, was able to acquire the user data of 50 million Facebook users. Speaking at a town hall event hosted by MSNBC's Chris Hayes and Recode's Kara Swisher, Cook said Facebook put profits above all else when it allegedly allowed user data to be taken through connected apps. The event is part of MSNBC's Revolution series. When asked what he would do if he were in Zuckerberg's position, Cook replied, What would I do? I wouldn't be in this situation. The truth is we could make a ton of money if we monetized our customer, if our customer was our product, Cook said. We've elected not to do that. The truth is we could make a ton of money if we monetized our customer, if our customer was our product, Cook said. We've elected not to do that, the truth is we could make a ton of money if we monetized our customer, if our customer was our product, Cook said. We've elected not to do that, privacy to us is a human right. It's a civil liberty, and something that is unique to America. This is like freedom of speech and freedom of the press, Cook said. Privacy is right up there with that for us, his comments are consistent with Apply's long-held privacy stance, which the company stood by even in the face of a legal quarrel with the U.S government a couple of years ago, when it refused to help the FBI unlock an iPhone belonging to the man responsible for ing 14 people in San Bernardino, California, in December 2015. Federal officials ultimately backed down, but only because they managed to unlock the phone themselves. If that same circumstance arose again, we would fight because this, again, is a value of America, Cook said Wednesday. You should not be able to compel somebody to write something that is bad for civilization, MSNBC's Chris Hayes and Recode's Kara Swisher talk with Apple CEO Tim Cook at the Revolution, Apple Changing the World Town Hall in Chicago on March 28, 2018. MSNBC THE wide-ranging discussion touched on everything from Apple's latest classroom products and efforts to improve education, Cook urge everyone of all ages to learn how to code to survive the changing jobs market, to politics, to other tech titans. In regards to Amazon's highly publicized competition for HQ2, its second headquarters in a yet-to-be-determined location, Cook said that Apple would also be bringing more jobs to places around the U.S. But, he quipped, we're not doing a beauty contest thing. That's not a